Good day, learner. This is your teacher in oral communication class, Sir Carl. In this video, I am going to teach you about types of communicative strategy. Before we're going to have our discussion, I would like to congratulate you for reaching this far. Do not forget to say thank you to your parents or guardians for going to school just to get your modules and other supplemental materials for your distance learning. I do pray that you still have the enthusiasm to continue your studies. For this week's lesson, we're going to focus on this most essential learning competency. What is this? We have employs various communicative strategies in different situations. Kindly read your weekly home learning plan for detailed information regarding with the objectives that you need to attain for this week. Let us have first an activity. We have put a finger down activity. What is this? Put a finger down is a popular challenge on TikTok. If you are familiar with that app, it is a video app where you can record your short videos. Now, how put a finger down is done. We have make your hands in a hold up position. If you have done what is stated, you put a finger down. It is like a way of measuring how many things you have done in your life. So, make sure that your hands are in hold up position and let us have put a finger down activity. First one, put a finger down if you often start the conversation on your group chat. Next, put a finger down if you replied wrongly on a chat or text message due to tiredness. Put a finger down if you have tried solving misunderstanding between friends. Put a finger down if you were shut up in a conversation. And put a finger down if you often greet people using foreign language except English. What is the result of the activity? Maybe some of you have five fingers down, while others might have only one. In those situations, maybe you experience good things or bad things. In the past quarter, you learned what communication is. You also learned different models speech context, speech styles, and speech acts. It is not only enough to have knowledge about communication. You should know how to establish communication and on how we want to express what others need to know from us. Every day, we engage in various conversations. We talk with our families, friends, classmates, and other people to establish connection and relationships. In the school, we exchange ideas with our teachers and classmates to maintain the teaching-learning process. But because of the pandemic, we are in a distance learning. 
So we exchange thoughts using our phones. As we grow older, we are exposed to conversations that may be done with different approaches based on situations and factors such as educational background or degree of closeness or relationship. Conversations also does not limited to face-to-face -to -face conversation. Because of the technology, our way of communication expanded and can reach to different parts of the world. We chat, we exchange views on the Facebook post, we call with our smartphones. We have media that aim to connect us in fast manner. The challenge for us is on how to start, sustain, and end a conversation successfully. We need to make sure that our messages are clearly understood by our listeners. We need to make them interested on what we are saying so that they can share their insights about the topic. We can use communicative strategies to achieve a healthy and successful communication. Cohen, 1990, states that strategies must be used to start and maintain a conversation. The following are some strategies people can use to have effective communication. First one, we have nomination. This is used to open or establish a topic in a conversation. How do you start a conversation? What are the topics you can use to have nomination? When you start a conversation, you have a topic for you and your friend to talk about. Maybe you can use news or announcement such as this. I read from the newspaper that COVID-19 vaccination has started in the United Kingdom. So this is a good example on how to have nomination. So news or information are good topics for you to start a conversation. Next, we have restriction. It refers to any limitation you may have as a speaker. In communication, you are restricted to follow instructions and you have limited things you can say, such as this. Discuss the Pythagorean theorem. So, if your math teacher told you to discuss that theorem, you are not going to discuss about quadratic formula or any topic. You just only focus on Pythagorean theorem. Turn taking. It refers to the process by which people decide who takes the conversational floor. If you are having your conversation, make sure that all of you have the chance to take the conversational uh, floor. Example, we have anything to comment about his idea about digital learning? In this example, you are asking one's opinion about the idea of that person on digital learning. So, in turn taking, you are trying your best to convince people to talk with you. Remember, you cannot monopolize conversation. Next, we have topic control. Topic control covers how procedural formality or informality affects the development of topic in conversations. 
We have here an example. You can only talk in a meeting if you are recognized by the presider. So if there are formal meeting, uh, meetings or conversations that are formal, you need to talk only when you are recognized. So there is a topic control there. In contrast, if you talk with your friends, it is a casual conversation, so you can pitch in. You can say your idea. Let's have topic shifting. It involves moving from one topic to another. Example, speaker one, I love Ben and Ben's lifetime song. It is pleasing to the ears. Speaker two, I agree. By the way, four of spades decided to have hiatus. I really miss the music. Me too. So in this example, you see there that there is what we call a change of topic in the first place um, the two persons are talking about Ben and Ben but they decided to talk about forum states because of proper topic shifting so there is no problem in doing this because there is what we call a smooth transition of topic so you do topic shifting if you want to share new ideas, or maybe you are tired of what you are talking, or, or if you have done discussing things about a certain topic and you want to move to another topic. Repair. It refers to how speakers address, or speaker should say speakers address the problems in speaking, listening, and comprehending that they may encounter in a conversation. So if there are mistakes in a conversation, you say sorry or you do something to repair the conversation. Example. I cannot understand what your classmate is saying. Please mute your microphone. In this example, you read here that there is what we call asking some of the students to listen or to stop talking so that their classmate can say his or her idea or ideas Clearly. So we do repair if ever that communication is not clear. So you need to be a good speaker and you need to do it by applying repair strategy. Lastly, we have termination. It refers to the conversation participants close initiating expressions that end a topic in a conversation. This is now the part wherein you want to end a topic. So you say goodbye or other words in order for you to signal that you want now to close the conversation. You have here an example. I enjoyed talking with you. Maybe we can continue our conversation tomorrow. If you are going to do termination, make sure that everything is clear and you end conversation politely. As a good speaker, you need to be polite. And we're done discussing the seven communicative strategies. So, what are those? We have nomination, 
description, copy control, you also have turn taking, topic shifting, repair, and termination. If you have questions regarding with this topic, do not hesitate to send a message to me and I hope that this video help you in understanding communicative strategies. Have a good day.